Texas Hold M is a variation of the standard card game of poker. Two cards are dealt face down to each player, and then five community cards are dealt in three stages face up, placed in front of the dealer. The stages consist of a series of three cards, later an additional single card and a final card. The best five-card poker hand is obtained by using the necessary cards from the community and, or a particular player's whole cards. Players have betting options to check bet, call, raise or fold. Rounds of betting include prior to the flop, pre-flop, on the flop, on the turn, and on the river. The betting pattern has variations, such as all players might simply check on a particular round such as pre-flop. Texas Hold M is the H game featured in HORSE and in HOSE. Objective In Texas Hold M, as in all variants of poker, individuals compete for an amount of money or chips contributed by the players themselves. Because the cards are dealt randomly and outside the control of the players, each player attempts to control the amount of money in the pot based either on the hand they are holding, or on their prediction as to what their opponents may be holding. The game is divided into a series of hands. At the conclusion of each hand, the pot is typically awarded to one player. A hand may end at the showdown, in which case the remaining players compare their hands and the highest hand is awarded the pot. That highest hand is usually held by only one player, but can be held by more in the case of a tie. The other possibility for the conclusion of a hand occurs when all but one player has folded and have thereby abandoned any claim to the pot, in which case the pot is awarded to the player who has not folded. The objective of winning players is not to win every individual hand, but rather to make mathematically and psychologically better decisions regarding when and how much to bet, raise, call, or fold. By making such decisions to place influential bets, one can non-verbally represent, suggest holding, not holding a certain, possible hand by either betting, not betting pre-flop, and by venturing small or larger bets, raises at possibly more advantageous times throughout the stages of the hand being dealt. One's pattern of betting may encourage opponents to actually talk themselves into betting or into folding, without verbalizing a discouraging or dishonest word. The winning poker players know how to enhance the opponent's betting and maximize their own expected gain on each round of betting, to thereby increasing their long-term winnings. History Although little is known about the invention of Texas Hold M, the Texas State Legislature officially recognizes Robstown, Texas, United States as the game's birthplace, dating the game to the early 1900s. After the game spread throughout Texas, Hold M was introduced to Las Vegas in 1967 by a group of Texan gamblers and card players including Crandall Addington, Doyle Brunson, and Amarillo Slim. This is when Ace High was changed from the original form in which aces were low. Addington said the first time he saw the game was in 1959. Draw poker, you bet only twice, hold M, you bet four times. That meant you could play strategically. This was more of a thinking man's game. For several years the Golden Nugget Casino in downtown Las Vegas was the only casino in Las Vegas to offer the game. At that time, the Golden Nugget's poker room was truly a sawdust joint, with oiled sawdust covering the floors because of its location and decor. This poker room did not receive many rich drop-in clients, and as a result, professional players sought a more prominent location. In 1969, the Las Vegas professionals were invited to play Texas Hold M at the entrance of the now-demolished Dunes Casino on the Las Vegas Strip. This prominent location, and the relative inexperience of poker players with Texas Hold M, resulted in a very remunerative game for professional players. 
After a disappointing attempt to establish a gambling fraternity convention, Tom Moore added the first-ever poker tournament to the second annual gambling fraternity convention held in 1969. This tournament featured several games including Texas Hold M. In 1970, Benny and Jack Binion acquired the rights to this convention, renamed it the World Series of Poker, and moved it to their casino. Binion's Horseshoe, in Las Vegas. After its first year, the journalist, Tom Thackeray, suggested that the main event of this tournament should be No Limit Texas Hold M. The Binions agreed and ever since No Limit Texas Hold M has been played as the main event. Interest in the main event continued to grow steadily over the next two decades. After receiving only eight entrants in 1972, the numbers grew to over 100 entrants in 1982, and over 200 in 1991. During this time, B&G Publishing Co., Inc., published Doyle Brunson's Revolutionary Poker Strategy Guide, Super, System. Despite being self-published and priced at $100 in 1978, the book revolutionized the way poker was played. It was one of the first books to discuss Texas Hold M, and is today cited as one of the most important books on this game. In 1983, Al Alvarez published The Biggest Game in Town, a book detailing a 1981 World Series of Poker event. The first book of its kind, it described the world of professional poker players and the World Series of Poker. Alvarez's book is credited with beginning the genre of poker literature and with bringing Texas Hold M to a wider audience. Alvarez's book was not the first book about poker. The Education of a Poker Player by Herbert O. Yardley, a former U.S government code breaker, was published in 1957. Interest in Hold M outside of Nevada began to grow in the 1980s as well. Although California had legal card rooms offering draw poker, Texas Hold M was deemed to be prohibited under a statute that made illegal the game of stud horse. But in 1988 Texas Hold M was declared legally distinct from stud horse in Tibbetts v. Van der Kamp. Almost immediately card rooms across the state offered Texas Hold M. After a trip to Las Vegas, bookmakers Terry Rogers and Liam Flood introduced the game to European card players in the early 1980s. Popularity Texas Hold M is one of the most popular forms of poker. Texas Hold M's popularity surged in the 2000s due to exposure on television, the internet and popular literature. During this time Hold M replaced seven-card stud as the most common game in U.S. casinos. The no-limit betting form is used in the widely televised main event of the World Series of Poker and the World Poker Tour. Hold M's simplicity and popularity have inspired a wide variety of strategy books which provide recommendations for proper play. Most of these books recommend a strategy that involves playing relatively few hands but betting and raising often with the hands one plays. In the first decade of the 21st century, Texas Hold M experienced a surge in popularity worldwide. Many observers attribute this growth to the synergy of five factors. The invention of online poker, the game's appearance in film and on television, invention and usage of the whole card cam, the appearance of television commercials advertising online card rooms, and the 2003 World Series of Poker Championship victory by online qualifier Chris Moneymaker. Television and film prior to poker becoming widely televised, the movie Rounders, starring Matt Damon and Edward Norton, gave moviegoers a romantic view of the game as a way of life. A clip of the classic showdown between Johnny Chan and Eric Seidel from the 1988 World Series of Poker was also incorporated into the film. More recently, a high-stakes Texas Hold'em game was central to the plot of the 2006 James Bond film Casino Royal in place of Baccarat, the casino game central to the novel on which the film was based. In 2008, an acclaimed short film called Shark Out of Water was released on DVD. This film is unique in that it deals with the darker, more addictive elements of the game and features Phil Hellmuth and Brad Booth. 
hold M tournaments had been televised since the late 1970s, but they did not become popular until 1999, when hidden lipstick cameras were first used to show players private hole cards on the late-night poker TV show in the United Kingdom. Hold M exploded in popularity as a spectator sport in the United States and Canada in early 2003. When the World Poker Tour adopted the lipstick cameras idea, a few months later, ESPN's coverage of the 2003 World Series of Poker featured the unexpected victory of internet player Chris Moneymaker, an amateur player who gained admission to the tournament by winning a series of online tournaments. Moneymaker's victory initiated a sudden surge of interest in the World Series based on the egalitarian idea that anyone, even a rank novice, can become a world champion. In 2003, there were 839 entrants in the WSOP main event, and triple that number in 2004. The crowning of the 2004 WSOP champion, Greg Fosselman, Raymer, a patent attorney from Connecticut, further fueled the popularity of the event among amateur players. In the 2005 main event, an unprecedented 5,619 entrants vied for a first prize of $7,500,000. The winner, Joe Hashem of Australia, was a semi-professional player. This growth continued in 2006, with 8,773 entrants and a first-place prize of $12 million. Beyond the World Series other television shows, including the long-running World Poker Tour, are credited with increasing the popularity of Texas Hold M. In addition to its presence on network and general audience cable television, poker has now become a regular part of sports networks programming in the United States. Literature The English journalist and biographer Anthony Holden spent a year on the professional poker circuit from 1988-1989 and wrote about his experiences in Big Deal, a year as a professional poker player, the follow-up book Bigger Deal, a year inside the poker boom covers the period 2005-2006 and describes a poker world changed beyond recognition. Twenty years after the publication of Alvarez's groundbreaking book James McManus published a semi-autobiographical book Positively Fifth Street, which simultaneously describes the trial surrounding the murder of Ted Binion and McManus' her own entry into the 2000 World Series of Poker. McManus, a poker amateur, finished fifth in the No Limit Texas Hold M main event, winning over $200,000. In the book McManus discusses events surrounding the World Series, the trial of Sandy Murphy and Rick Tabish, poker strategy, and some history of poker and the World Series. Michael Craig's 2005 book The Professor, The Banker, and The Suicide King details a series of high-stakes Texas Hold M one-on-one -on -one games between Texas banker Andy Beal and a rotating group of poker professionals. As of 2006, these games were the highest stakes ever played, reaching $100,000, $200,000 fixed limit. Online poker The ability to play cheaply and anonymously online has been credited as a cause of the increase in popularity of Texas Hold M. Online poker sites both allow people to try out games and also provide an avenue for entry into large tournaments via smaller tournaments known as satellites. The 2003 and 2004 winners of the World Series No Limit hold the main event qualified by playing in these tournaments. Although online poker grew from its inception in 1998 until 2003, moneymakers win and the appearance of television advertisements in 2003 contributed to a tripling of industry revenues in 2004.